All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation five to the power of x is equal to 50. So to first start with this problem, let's test different values of x. So if x is one, then I get five to the power of one, which is equal to five, and this is too low. Now if, it's, if x equals two, I get five to the power of two, which is 25, and this again is too low. Now if x equals three, then I have five to the power of three, which is 125, and this is way too high. So we know that the value of x is gonna be somewhere in between two and three, meaning it's gonna be a decimal. So how are we gonna find the exact value of x? Well, to start, we're gonna be using logarithms. So I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log phi to the power of x is equal to log 50. And the reason I'm doing this is because logarithms come with a special property that state that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move the exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, and we can think of x as b, and I can move this x to the front. So now I get x times log five is equal to log 50. And now remember, we wanna find the value of x, so all we have to do to do that is to get rid of this log five by dividing both sides by log five. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. And now, let's simplify this a little to get the exact decimal value. So log 50 is the same thing as log of 10 times 5. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So now this turns into log 10 plus log 5 over log 5, which is the same thing as log 10 over log 5 plus log five over log five, which is just one. And log 10 is also equal to one. So I get x equals one over log five plus one. So now all that's left to do is do one divided by log five in my calculator. So I get x is equal to 1.431 one plus one which is equal to 2.431. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation k times k times k plus k is equal to 30. So obviously I wanna find the value of k in this equation. So to start off, k times k times k is the same thing as k to the power of three. So I have k to the power of three plus k is equal to 30. And now I'm gonna subtract 30 on both sides. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus 30 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as k to the power of three plus k minus 27 minus three is equal to zero. And 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I get k to the power of three plus k minus three to the power of three minus three is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared.
So this is equal to k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 3 squared, which is 9. And we can't forget our plus k minus 3 at the end, which is this part right here. And this is equal to 0. So now, because both of these terms have k minus 3 in them, I can factor out k minus 3. So I get k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 9 plus 1, because k minus 3 divided by k minus 3 is 1, is equal to 0. So this turns into k minus 3 times k squared plus 3k plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to divide this into two of the different equations. I have k minus 3 equals 0 and k squared plus 3k plus 10 is equal to 0. So for k minus 3 equals 0, I can add 3 on both sides. So I get k is equal to 3. So this is one solution of k. And for k squared plus 3k plus 10 equals 0, because this is a quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. So now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And I can rewrite this as negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31i over 2, because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So this is two more solutions of k. So these are my three solutions.